My name is Sarah Lynn Wells, and I'm a museum educator at Wonder Lab Museum. Today I'm going to show you an activity that you can do at home with just a couple of items to experiment with sound waves. The first thing you want to do is go to your kitchen and grab a spoon. It doesn't matter, you could do something as small as a teaspoon or as large as a ladle, you just want to make sure it's a metal spoon. Next, check your swag box and you should have some twine. We're going to attach this to our spoons. So what I'm going to do, if you have a spoon that has some sort of cutout or opening on the handle and makes it really easy, you can just thread that right through. Mine doesn't have that, so I'm going to show you a really easy way to go ahead and attach that twine to your spoon. I have it um, folded in half, so it makes a nice little loop here. And I'm just going to carefully pull the other end through. Sometimes if you do it too quickly, it starts to pull off of the spoon. But once I tighten it, it makes it to where I've got a nice connection there and it's going to hold on to my spoon. So now I have some twine with a metal spoon attached. So now you want to make sure that you are near um, some sort of hard surface. I'm sitting at a table, so this is perfect for our activity. You could also use the back of a chair or something else like that. You just want to make sure it's a metal spoon and it's hitting against a hard surface. All right, so what we're going to do now is I am going to wrap the ends of my twine. It doesn't have to be at the very end, but I'm going to wrap it around my pointer finger a few times. I just want to make sure I've wrapped that twine around my finger a few different times. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers in my ear, um, much like putting some headphones in, and I'm going to gently tap my spoon against the hard surface. Like I said, I've got a table right here, so that works perfectly. But you want to make sure as you are hitting the spoon against the hard surface, you're keeping your fingers attached in your ear. Now, you might have been able to hear um, the spoon hitting against the table, but you can't hear exactly what I was hearing. When you do that, you're probably familiar with what a spoon is gonna sound like against a table. But when you do it that way, you're gonna hear something very different. What you are hearing and experiencing through this experiment is learning a little bit more about sound waves. Now, you may know that sound waves are due to vibration. When that spoon is hitting that hard surface, there's a vibration and that creates sound and that we end up hearing. Sound waves typically travel through the air. But in this experiment, the spoon, when it begins to vibrate against the hard surface, it begins to have vibration. That vibration continues through the string and through your finger into your ear. So rather than hearing the sound from sound waves that are traveling through the air, you are actually hearing the sound by sound waves and vibration that's traveling through the string. And it's really interesting because sound waves travel differently through a solid than they do through a gas like the air. So this is a great way to see the difference between what it sounds like if I hit the spoon against the table and hear that vibration through the air, through the sound waves traveling through the air, versus if I hear that through the sound traveling through the string. So just a great way to hear the difference between how sound waves travel through solids versus through gases.